Hey guys, what's up? Once again, it is time for me to share my Maryland Sheep and Wool haul. Um, went down there over the weekend and I had a blast. Had a great time. So, let's get started. Um, we went to a Michaels while we were there. And in that Michaels, they had the 12-pack Wilton's um, food dyes. And um, you can use these for uh, dyeing fiber. And it's interesting because you'll get color breaks. Um, when you use these um, food dyes and they had a 12 the 12 pack kit and most of these they sell individually for like 269 on up individually so I that was a good deal they had it for 14 bucks at Michaels so I picked one up from there okay and then I got oh bottom fell uh, let me see and so then I got, of course, I went to Jim's Turnstiles, and I got two of his spindles. Okay, there you go. The room's a little bit messy now, so I got to find somewhere to put this stuff. But I got two more of his spindles. I always go, when I go there, I always get one or two of his spindles, and I got these. These are the designs he had this year. Um, he had some that were um, even prettier than these, the darker woods and stuff, but these are the two that I test spun on and really liked. And this is how much spinning I did <laughs> um, while I was walking around Maryland Sheep and Wool. Alright, so those are the first two items, three items I got. Okay, next I went to my girls over from Walks Farm Acres. They have the churro and churro um, mixed herd. And so I went over to them and I got... I uh, got, let me see, this is, where's the card at for that? Where is your card? Pretty sure this is going to be, I hope it didn't fall out. It's still so soft. So very, very soft. So, I got velvet, and I've gotten velvet's fleece before. And um, her fleece is an oatmeal color. And it's very pretty when you spin it up. And it takes dye well. And so you can heather um, her fleece um, by dyeing it. And it looks really good when you use a red with her fleece and greens. And then this is Panda's fleece. Panda is Chewy's daughter. And she does look like a little panda. She's um, a black-gray mix with white face and um um and a black circle around her eye one of her eyes she's really pretty this fleece is so freaking it's her first fleece so it's a lamb's fleece and um it is so freaking soft and you can see it has some reds in there and the grays and the blacks and on um, that spindle right there while i was sitting talking to my ladies I spun some from the locks right there, and it spun, spins beautifully. It makes a nice lace. Ah, oh, keep dropping stuff. I'm sorry. All right, next. Let's make this quick. We have Chewy. That's Panda's dad. He's a churro ram, and I just spun up his fleece for. I uh, showed you guys on Facebook. I was spinning his fleece all last week, and um. But this is why his he's a double double coated sheep. He has the shorter he has the softer downy fibers towards and, and shorter fibers, and he also has these long um, guard hairs, and they're like a blonde. And um, it's hard to separate them out because they're only sheared once a year. But um, if you were so inclined, you probably could. There's a couple like little short second cuts in there, but that'll be all right. So, but yeah. His, his fleece is real pretty. You could actually, if you wanted to, you could probably pull some of these long hairs out and uh, separate them out and spin those. These would be good for making warp, for weaving these long hairs. All right, and so that's his fleece. Then we have, um, there's these two little ladies from Pennsylvania. They sell how border leisters. And I, I'm going to get a fleece from them. But this is the fleece I got this year from them. And uh, it is real pretty. 
So that's it right there. And it's so freaking soft. Um, and yes, these fleeces still do have um, lanolin in them. But this fleece is, it's, see the, the lock structure is so easy to just pull these out and just spin them straight from the lock. Just flick open the ends here because it got like a little tight curl at the end. Just flick it open with a, a dog brush or something and you can spin these straight from the lock real easy. Alright, and then I have this bag of roving that I got. And this is just a, I think this is Cordell. Yeah, this is the Cordell top I got. I got some Shetland top. I did get some color this year. So I got this, this green, lime greens. And um, Sunday they dropped the price. It was only $5. $5. So, and then they have like two different shades of pink. So that's the color I got. So that was my Maryland Sheep and Wool haul this year. When I go to Maryland Sheep and Wool, I go, because I spin, I go to get fleece and fiber. I do not buy yarn while I'm at Maryland Sheep and Wool. Do I really need to buy yarn? <laughs> I have enough yarn from my own spinning and from stuff that's gifted to me and from stuff that I purchase to make stuff for my kids and stuff. So, yeah, so that was on Maryland Sheep and Wool. Oh, yeah, and there's that braid of roving hanging on the door. I forgot about that one. I got that one from, I think it was Misty Mountain. Yeah, Misty Mountain Farm. I got the Shetland and this braid of roving from them. Very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful roving. So that was my haul. So had a really good time. I went with um four of my friends and we just had a blast. So um I hope you guys take care. Those of you who went to Maryland Sheep and Wool, um maybe next year we could try and figure out a way to meet up and stuff. Other than that, y'all take care.